It's another busy week on the hilltop as baseball gets into their second week of competition while basketball gets closer and closer to the conference tournament. But we begin Patriot Insider this week with three that received news that they were inducted into the Heartland Conference Hall of Fame, including golf's Kenny Trapp, as well as Jacob Phillips and Kelsey Bruce from Cross Country and Trapp. You know, we're, you know, it's an exciting honor. Um, I think any time that a coach is honored, it's obviously uh, because they've had good teams. And so we've been really blessed here at DBU to have a lot of hardworking young men and women that came in and really bought into what we were um, trying to do as a program. And so I think a lot of, you know, me being inducted is just because we've had great kids that have really bought into what we're trying to do and we've worked really, really hard and stuff. But, you know, with Kelsey, she's obviously our all-time great. You know, she finished fourth at Nationals in cross country. She never lost a conference meet in cross country. And so um, it's, it's cool to see um, someone who put in that kind of work and put in that kind of preparation to be rewarded, you know, uh, after the career is over kind of thing, you know. So that's kind of exciting about, uh, about that. But it, she worked really, really hard and, and um, it's a cool honor for her too. Coach Phillips has been the head cross country and track and field coach for 13 years, where he has led the women's cross country team to 11 straight Heartland Conference championships, while the men's cross country team has won seven titles. Since 2009, Phillips has guided the Lady Patriots to four trips to the NCAA National Championships, while also helping the men to a school best 18th place finish in 2017. Kelsey Bruce was a four-time All-American in cross country and finished her collegiate career with a fourth place finish in the NCAA D2 Cross Country Championships. In track and field, Bruce was a two-time All-American, qualifying for the NCAA Championships in the steeplechase in 2013, 2014, and 2015. Head men's and women's golf coach Kenny Trapp was also selected to the Heartland Conference Hall of Fame last week. Over a 14-year span, Trapp has led the women's program to 41 wins and 38 individual titles, while the men's team has accounted for 9 team wins and 10 individual titles. Over the past five seasons, Trapp has guided the DBU women's golf team to four trips to the NCAA National Championships, while the men have advanced to the NCAA Super Regionals seven times since 2009. As a former student athlete of Kenny's, when he started the program in 2005, uh, there's really not words to, to just describe uh, the impact that he's had on my life personally, uh, but also the impact that he's had on a countless number of student athletes that have come through his program, both on the men's side and on the women's side. And uh, you just talk about a strong man of faith, uh, the ultimate competitor, uh, well respected in the golf community uh, and in college golf across the country. Uh, and he just happens to be also one of the best college golf coaches in the country. So couldn't be more happy uh, for Kenny uh, in this recognition from the Heartland Conference. Certainly well deserved and uh, looking forward to what he uh, does with this program uh, the rest of this year uh, and then in the future. So congratulations Kenny on this remarkable achievement. Baseball finished their second weekend on the diamond with an impressive series win over reigning Big Ten champion Minnesota at Horner Ballpark. In Game 1, Jordan Martinson fired six scoreless innings while striking out eight in a 9-0 win. After a late-inning comeback fell short in Game 2, DBU claimed the series on Sunday behind six strong innings from M.D. Johnson, where he struck out nine Gophers. The Patriots now sit at 5-2 and two and look ahead to matchups against Baylor and Houston Baptist this week. On the hardwood, basketball traveled to Oklahoma to pick up a key conference victory over Oklahoma Christian on Thursday night. Chandler Jacobs poured in a team-high 21 points, while Carter Brown and Zach Lord also scored in double figures. On Saturday, the Patriots saw the nation's longest home win streak come to an end at 37 games and a loss to number 3 St. Edwards. The Patriots now sit at an impressive 20-8 and enter the final week of the regular season. That's all for this week on Patriot Insider. You can stay connected by going to dbupatriots.com or following us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. You can also download the DBU app in the App Store or in Google Play. Until this same time next week, for Patriot Insider, I'm Brendan Smith.